Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to English Football Club Barcelona, your Barcelona channel in English. Remember this date because I don't think we're going to see a date like today for a long time. 22022022, or if you read it back, eh, backwards, is the same. 2202 uh, 2022. No? Wonderful wonderful day uh, I, i've been waiting for these days since i don't know <laughs> four months maybe and wonderful things happen today really um but well let's talk about barcelona because in barcelona many things happen today too but those who listen to me some years ago some months ago sorry not some years ago some months ago uh a friend you if you remember hamrawi uh the football, the female football player who is now playing in PSG, if, I, if I'm not wrong. Um, she, she, one of her friends, I was, I, I put a picture in Instagram about Hamrawi and one of her friends followed the picture or liked the picture for a second. I think she got confused. So today she, Gautia uh, Carcioni, I think that's the name, if I, I'm probably Carcioni or Kashuni, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Well, um, pro, uh, today she she moved to Inter, so we wish from here the best. And uh, thank you for replying. It was really amazing to, to, to find this kind of answers. Now, well, guys, uh, without more delay, let's start. But before starting, let me remind you that if you like Barcelona and you don't want to miss any daily news about your the team of your dreams, this is your channel. Here we read the media in Spanish. We translated it into English. We translated it into English. Okay, well, what, whatever. And then we provided it to you with love and with words, a lot of words. And without more delay, let's start. <laughs> Well, today it was, I read the CVC, that agreement with that fund, uh, investment fund and La Liga. It seems that the agreement was done. I'm not really sure how it's going on, no? but uh, this agreement was quite interesting for those teams who had pro economical problems. Let's see, for example, Tenerife or which one I read more. I'm asking myself, don't, don't have to reply those things. Well, some teams with really financial problems, they were really interesting in this because it provided the teams in La Liga for a lot of money. For example, 34% of the investment is for the debts. Of course, those teams who had no debt, that money is going to be for inference uh, for well the the stadiums the media the all these stuff related to the club no but not to to the, the that money is not going to go direct for signing new players or whatever no that's another proportion of the investment those 400 million euros that they are paying in this moment um they uh, these teams are now using it for that. But of course, if you remember, Laporta was saying that the agreement, even though that Barcelona is going to receive in those 10 years, if I'm not wrong, 200 something million euros, that is almost the 10% of the investment they did. Barcelona, in this moment, they really don't know. I, I, a bit, I'm a, I, I really agree with Laporta that that money that later we are going to have to pay in 50 years is a very long and very difficult debt. And I still keep saying those teams who would go down to the lower divisions, then they don't have to pay for that because they, supposedly, I don't know how is the agreement, but it's a bit weird now, these things. But well, whatever your opinion is, leave it there. If you really agree with the CVC that, and you think that is going to, to, to push our league up, welcome. But in my opinion, I think it's not going to be that much. 
the effect it will be an effect there will be an effect for example real madrid and barcelona probably with that money will be able to sign has a uh, helen holland however is his name and i say Haaland because in spain they say Haaland. Haaland and mbappe for more money but not much than that no maybe we can bring messi back that's the only thing but talking about money i read today that laporta got an offer from a cryptocurrency um, company for about 70 million euros. The same amount of money that uh, Spotify is paying for the t-shirt, no? For um, a lot of money, yes. But here there is a concept that I agree with Laporta. And for those who you don't know, me, um, I have, well, I do investments too, okay? Uh, I, I, I have my own investments, I have my books, and there uh, I read a lot about these kind of things because I really like it. I don't just like Barcelona, I'm not a freak of Barcelona, I, I have my own hobbies. And cryptocurrency, when people talk to me about cryptocurrency, I always say the same. Uh, when you invest, you have to look at the numbers, you have to make an analysis, and if you're a trader, a trader, uh, a trader that's another topic too. Uh, there is another way of, of doing this analysis, etc. More focus on the numbers and not so much on the companies, etc. And uh, Laporta, who is not full at all, near this thing. I mean, uh, to returning to my experience, when people talk to me about the crypto, I always say that that's the most difficult because it's a bit, a, a bit the lottery. You don't know unless something external happens, like for example, I don't know, USA suddenly says, I'm going to accept you pay the whatever with cryptocurrency, then for sure the crypto will go up because a lot of people will buy it because then you can use it. But for I, I have the, the clear example that just happened months ago. No, Elon Musk said he's going to get cryptocurrency in uh, in exchange for a t for Tesla's cars. No, if I'm not wrong, and then <laughs> whoa, it went up from twenty thousand, more or less. It was the average price in that moment, twenty twenty five thousand dollars per per one Bitcoin. It went to fifty sixty. I remember that people were saying it's going to reach 80. I, I saw today the chart and it didn't reach. Uh, so uh, now it's again in 35, 36, people are saying it's going to go up, etc. Well, you never know unless something happened like that. And why it dropped so much? Because suddenly the same Elon Musk said, well, I'm not going to accept anymore. So as you can see, for investment, for this kind of investments, of cryptocurrency, it must be something very specific. If not, it's a bit of lottery. It's, you don't know. It's it's more like trading than really investing. Because if you invest in crypto, in my opinion, and if you have another opinion, for me, perfect. Because I met a lot of people saying they have other opinions, but I've met people who has lost 100,000 100, euros in these things. And it's not a joke. Okay. So uh, that's my opinion. If you want to invest, cryptocurrency is not the the best in my in my personal opinion. So uh, and for those who did punch of money with cryptocurrency when it went up, it was because Elon Musk said that. For me, congrats and pay attention because I think now it's going to pump again. It's going to pop up again. But it's my opinion. I keep saying I'm not an expert and I don't like it. I don't even pay much attention, but by the numbers and how more or less I understand the the charts, more or less probably is going to start going up a bit. Anyway, talking about this, talking about football, I went to another topic. I'm sorry. I understand Laporta because you, for example, the company that offered that amount of money it was Chile's. You cannot know what's going to happen with Chile's in two years. Spotify has been like 20 years already, if I'm not wrong, on the market. Or more. Maybe I don't know, but the, the, this 3 this company, I think it has been here for long. And I, I, I remember using it in Spain 10 years ago. That's why I'm saying maybe it's longer than that. But, or more than 10. Well, but with Chile's, you never know what's going to happen. Maybe this year they have 70 million and maybe next year 
Bitcoin and Ethereum and all this uh, uh, Dodge, Dodge coin and all those coins that they are on the market. Maybe all of them dropped by whatever, because you never know what's going to happen. And then next year they say, well, I'm sorry, but we don't have money. And then Barcelona has a problem because you not just lose 70 million euros, if not, you have to recreate the t-shirt, you can, I mean, the, the logo, you have to find new investors, etc. So it's, I think it's quite logic what Laporta did. I'm going to try to focus a bit more on football, but well, today it was a rest day for the team. They deserve it, okay? Let them rest too, then don't make them, I think they have worked hard, but Today, nine players, I didn't read who, but nine players, I guess, and uh, Pi is one of them, Memphis, sorry, Memphis is one of them. Nine players have come to train. Why? Because on thir on Friday, well, Friday for me, on Thursday, we have a very important match against Napoli. And none of them want to miss the chance of beating the third, the third team of the Italian league in this moment. So... Wonderful for those camps. Talking about, sorry, talking about those players who can or who are available, one of them, as I'm saying, I think is Depay. And Memphis, since he's gone, now he's recovered, almost completely recovered, and he has the chance to come back to the team. The prize that where? I read many options. Yesterday we were talking that he wants to leave, to come, go back to the French League, because probably he has no more space in Barcelona. Well, I don't think so, really. I mean, I don't see Xavi having an an, an ideal starting eleven. Those three players, Mayang, uh, Torres and uh, Adama, it has, uh, Xavi has shown that it's not exactly what he has in mind and th that really he wants to rotate and i think within those rotations memphis has a perfect chance to play and he will have minutes if you tell me for example frankie the young uh, sorry ricky Puch, well, i would say well yeah he has to find a new team but memphis no i don't think so even though even injured even everything he's the top scorer of the club so well uh followed if i'm not wrong from for Frankie, de, for Luke de Jong, imagine. So I think, how can we use Memphis in this case? Generated spli, uh, spaces, more or less the same as Obama, Obama Young is doing in this moment. So could be perfectly in the nine of the club. Playing in the, in the side areas, I think it's going to be more difficult. Uh, I think uh, Memphis will help us a lot playing as a nine, as the second nine or the first nine, but that will bring us another question. What about um, Brathwaite, no? Well, what do you think Brathwaite should do? That's my question for you. Leave it there on the comment section and everything, no? Talking about Obama Young, about football, Obama Young conceded an interview to one of the Spanish new papers. He talked about many things, where he's trying to find a house, where he wants to live, he wants to live in another place in after summer, etc. But one of the things, and it was the most important, is that when he arrived at Barcelona, he asked Dembele to stay. Will Barcelona start the conversations with Dembele again? Will Dembele ask Sissoko to go back to Barcelona and ask? I don't know. What we've seen is that without Dembele, we can play. Uh, you know, I'm not a fan of Dembele. I'm not a great supporter. I don't think many people in Barcelona is. Uh, sorry, are. But it's true that can help us a lot. I don't have any doubt about this. But what I have my doubts is that his value is what he's asking. I think his pretension is too high you now for what he has done. It's true that he's dangerous, that sometimes he's a wonderful player, he gives passes, he is created ch uh, chances and generates opportunities, he go he has a goal, etc. But for asking 20 million a year, exactly in the moment we are now. And talking about players who should stay, it seems that Barcelona in this moment is not really considering to renew None of these players, I'm, I'm putting all of them together to finish with this picture. Um, 
for Gabi and Araujo, well, they finished contract next year, so we're going to take uh, time. No? But for for Sergio Roberto, that's a problem. Because actually, I read Xavi wants him, wants Sergio Roberto to stay. But it seems that Barcelona in this moment is not considering of renewing any, any player. So what will happen, we don't know yet. The point here is that Barcelona, in this moment that we are having so many problems, uh, well, not so many problems, so important matches, sorry, they are not asking their players to focus on their contracts or on their whatever they want. The team wants them to focus on the football, no, on having good, great matches and bring us to the furthest we can no? and well guys that's a bit all for today i think it's a, bit, a very long video but well hope you enjoyed as i enjoyed and see you in the next one if you like the video remember hit the like button and whatever your opinion is down there in the comment section write it and i will reply you 100 percent and then like this we can have a chit chat that sadly here we cannot see you have a nice day